We are here to talk about HTTPS, not high temperature thermoplastics, but hypertext transfer protocol secure. I can almost guarantee that you've heard of HTTPS, but do you really know what HTTPS is? Like how it works and why some websites use it, but some don't? On one hand, HTTP transmits website content to and from your computer in plain text, whereas HTTPS, on the other hand, encrypts this information. So this guy right here and the people in here cannot see what you're doing online. So at the most basic level, HTTPS is superior to HTTP because it allows for secure communication over the internet. While HTTP uses port 80, HTTPS works over port 443, which you can test out by going to any website colon 443, and the website should show up as normal, whereas any other port probably won't work. I found it very interesting that HTTPS only came into existence fairly recently in 1994 when Netscape introduced the technology into its Navigator web browser. It wasn't until the launch of Gmail a decade later that HTTPS started to catch on. It took until 2013 for all Google searches to go over HTTPS, and surprisingly, YouTube was not 100% operating over HTTPS until 2019, the year after this. Yeah. The amount of web traffic over HTTPS has increased significantly over the past decade, with the vast majority of the most popular websites having implemented HTTPS. But there are still some websites today that do not use HTTPS. Some notable examples are Disney'sGo.com, which fails to load if you try HTTPS, Wikidot.com, which will actually redirect you from HTTPS to HTTP, and the University of Washington's website, which technically does have HTTPS, but doesn't redirect you there automatically. I don't know why these and other websites have not implemented HTTPS yet. Some might argue that if there's no confidential information on the website, that HTTPS is unnecessary. But as we saw earlier, a man in the middle attack might not only be able to intercept your web traffic, but also modify your web pages before they get to you and inject things like malware and advertisements. HTTPS prevents this from happening because even if there is a man in the middle, he is unable to modify the encrypted traffic since it's just going to look like gibberish. Most modern web browsers will show some type of not secure message in the address bar when visiting a website that does not use HTTPS. Sometimes with a website that does use HTTPS, you'll run into a message like the infamous your connection is not private error, which explains, as you know by now, that attackers might be trying to steal your information. This usually happens when the SSL certificate, which is the thing that enables the website to have HTTPS in the first place, is misconfigured and the web browser is trying to protect you from a dangerous situation. Sometimes you'll see an option to proceed to the website, which again is potentially unsafe. So please only do this when no sensitive information will be exchanged and you're connected to a trusted network. SSL certificates are a fundamental part of HTTPS, and if you want to explore that topic a bit further, then check out some of these videos next.